was kissing you with my eyes open But you said, you said, keep them closed and be in the moment Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a bag that I have been eyeing for the longest time and I finally have it today. So I belong to one of those groups on Facebook. It is um, one of the lounge fly collectors groups that they have on Facebook. I'm going to be completely honest, I have never really been a huge lounge fly fan up until recently. So when the main attraction minis started coming out and they started coming out with the lounge fly bags i started paying more attention to the different releases for the disney lounge flies i've never been like i said i've never been such a big fan of them i do own a couple of lounge fly bags but it has to be a really special type of bag for me to be so interested in it. I was a little bit late finding out about the release of this, but luckily one day I was on the Loungefly buy sell trade groups on Facebook. There was a woman who was posting that she was willing to uh, trade one of this bag that I'm talking about. So I saw that she was willing to trade the bag that I'm going to show you in a minute for the Tiki Room bag, the Minnie Mouse uh, Tiki Room lounge fly bag. And I actually had one available to trade. It was not initially my intention to trade that bag, but it happened. Tiki Room, although I do really like that attraction, it's not something that is super super near and dear to my heart like other attractions are so i didn't see the need for myself to keep it when i saw something that i absolutely loved anyway back to the story so i saw that for cinderella's 70th anniversary loungefly was coming out with a bunch of different bags a backpack a handbag and there were a couple of other things i think a wallet something else maybe in particular the backpack totally caught my attention but by the time i found out about it they were already sold out everywhere people were raising the prices so extremely high. I've seen it for $300, $400. It's ridiculous. So I actually had no idea that the Disney lounge fly community was so intense, although I shouldn't have been so surprised because I found that a lot of the Disney collecting groups are very, very intense. And I did not know that going into any of this. The bag that I am obviously talking about is the Cinderella lounge fly backpack. It is one of the most adorable things I have ever seen. For those of you who don't know me, I have such a huge collection of really girly bags. Not Disney related bags, but just bags in general. I have a Betsy Johnson collection, um, and you know her style is very girly, so a lot of the bags have bows on them. They're pink, they're glittery, they have flowers on them. I have a lot of girly bags. <laughs> Um, so I saw this and this is such my aesthetic. This is so my style. Pretty much anything Disney princesses I'm on board with. But this in particular spoke to me so much. Like I said, so the story behind this was I happened to have a, the Tiki Room lounge fly backpack to trade and I have to give a shout out to Emily uh, who traded this bag with me. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is gorgeous. I really appreciate it and it means a lot to me. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do a brief overview of the bag. So it's a standard backpack size that Lounge Fly does. It's, I, I don't want to say that this was a box lunch exclusive. It might have been. Um, I'm not sure. So this is the scene from Cinderella where the mice are helping to sew Cinderella her pink dress. I almost said purple dress, I don't know why. <laughs> so the bag is basically the pink dress with all of the bows on it, all of the ruffles, not ruffles, all of the draping of the dress is on this bag. And you can see the mice are helping. It is so cute. So there's this big bow in the middle, there are two bows down below, and then on each side, there is a bow by each pocket. And then let's talk about, I didn't even notice this at first, but let's discuss how adorable these little scissors are for the zipper. It is so cute. So then you turn the bag around and you can see the backpack um, hook is a measuring tape, which is so cute. And I didn't know this until I got the bag, 
but the measuring tape is also on the adjustable straps which is so cute and you can see Gus Gus in the back the bag it is adorable it's absolutely precious I haven't worn this yet but I just thought that I would do a little bit of an overview of the bag for I guess anybody who's interested in purchasing it oh yeah I forgot and there are of course the birds at the top so she sent this in pretty much um, the way that it came with when she ordered it so it has the stuffing in the bag I'll take it out for now I'll put it back in afterwards just so I could show so for those of you wondering I am wearing a magic band on today I'm I've been missing Disney World a lot lately um, and this one I just threw on for the video because it's really cute and it kind of matches my outfit today. So the interior of the bag is blue and I will show it. I don't really want to bend back the bag, but it has a beautiful Cinderella print on it and it's a Cinderella 70th, um, it says Cinderella 70 years. So I will just show you to the best of my ability. That's the interior of the bag. There are no sections inside, but I think that that's pretty, um, pr I think that that's pretty much okay because there is a front zipper. There is a front zipper. So overall, if you're looking for a really adorable and girly bag, that is Disney themed. I think that this is, this would be your cup of tea uh, because it's mine. I'm so, so happy with this. I think that I actually want to look for the handbag as well to go along with this. I can't wait to make my outfits for my next Disney trip with this bag and I'm looking forward to it so much. So anyway, that is all that I have for you guys today. Let me know down below if you like videos like these or if you want me to do any more type of review videos. I do plan on doing a review of all of my the main attraction Minnie Mouse plushes because I have been collecting those religiously. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you aren't already. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye! Sometimes I start to wonder if I should change my mind But when I think back to you I feel the same every time Cause I guess I never loved you like I love me